Question number four. We have completed our fourth question. Let me take the fifth question. Question number five. What does it say? Now, second case is of if A is same question, it says if lemma cone is of the same shape, uh, I mean, of, of different kind of shape, I'll just talk about. But here, it says P is greater than A. That means A minus B will be negative. A is smaller than B here. Okay, but answer is same. Because answer is here also. Pi into A square plus half B square. Here also, the answer is same. But the shape will be different. We have proved that the sum of the areas of the two loops of the Lima form is this. This is question number six. Let me talk about it. Again, R is equal to A plus B into cos theta. Here, B is greater than A. Okay, and the answer is, and the answer is, or the sum of the, and the sum of the areas, sum of areas of the two loops of the two loops is equal to again this is pi a square plus half b square that we have to prove here this is question number five r equal to a plus b cos theta but b is greater than a okay so b is equal to this solution let me find out now in this case when b take let suppose here b is greater than a there are two two kind of shapes okay the curve will be of two types of shape what kind of those two shapes are there okay let me talk about them we have a plus b equal to zero then cos equal to minus alpha minus a upon b if i take okay that is the the first question the second question will be okay so the first question is let me talk about okay so that is the problem here okay so in this situation the curve is of the same shape but there is another curve here the smaller one which i'll take that at theta equal to alpha to theta equal to pi so this is the smaller curve here I'll talk about that at this curve or the shape of the curve here. Okay, and the first curve as I took here, the first curve which I took like this. Why this is there? But as I, if I put, okay, here again, now this is a plus b now in this case this uh, a minus b this is uh, a minus b here or sorry b minus a now this value is negative value so a minus b here or this is a plus b if i take a plus b here and this is a minus b which is negative one this value is a minus b Okay, so this is the curve. Now if I take theta equal to alpha, let me take this angle theta is equal to alpha in this case. So this alpha varies from this angle to this angle. Okay, and this the first is smaller curve for the difference of this a minus b will be this value. So if I put r equal to zero, if r equal to zero again, this is symmetric to the initial line. Okay, the same curve is there. The description of the curve be the same but this smaller curve will come out as because a minus b is negative here a minus b is negative less than zero for that this will not come out here the positive value a minus b but this is comes out to be a smaller curve will also be drawn with a minus b at the at the distance of this okay so this curve is meant like this r equal to zero if i put if r equal to zero then a plus b cos theta equal to 0 
और कॉस थीटा इक्वल टू माइनस ए अपॉन बी ओके सो दिस कॉस थीटा इज थीटा एंगल इज इफ आई टेक दिस एज अल्फा एंगल सो कॉस थीटा इक्वल टू डेट टेक कॉस अल्फा वेयर दिस वैल्यू कम्स आउट टू बी ऑफ कॉस अल्फा और थीटा इक्वल टू अल्फा हियर थीटा अल्फा एंगल But the value of this minus a upon b may vary, but then the shape will be of this. This is general type of question. Okay, so the question is of general type. No numerical value given because a and b may vary. What is the difference of them? What is the value? But negative difference will be there. A minus b, and this value a upon b comes out to be let cos alpha, and this is alpha equal to theta. So this angle alpha varies from. There are two parts of this. So some of these two loops, the smaller loop. And the bigger loop, the bigger loop is comes out to be theta pi zero to pi as we took the limits there. Okay, the twice of that angle. So we have to find out this area twice of zero to pi. Okay, this is the first area half, and this is half r square into d theta plus second limit will be for this alpha equal to is it pi by Three or something. Let me take that question here. That limit will be. Let me take zero to pi here and zero to alpha. Or if I take zero to, okay. Let me take this is not zero to pi, but here let me take from this to this. This zero to let me take a here. Any a angle, zero to a, and then a to pi. Okay, again this is one point two r square into d theta. These are two limits here. So this is twice one point two. Let me take this angle is zero to zero to a and then a to pi. So these are two portions. I mean, if I take the first one zero to a then a to pi, these two sums are there. But twice of that will give us the lower portion also. These are two sums here. Total area. This is required area. Required area of the two curves. The lemma con. Okay, this is also lemma con here. So the area, required area of the curves, the two curves here. This is zero to a. This we are taking zero to a here and a to pi. Okay, this is the limit here. So again, this can be written as one point two because we can summarize them. They are the same zero to a, a to pi. So we can make it as zero to pi. Same limit r square d theta. So these can be summarized. Okay, the so sum is the same. So this is two to cancel out. And nothing but one point two. Sorry, only zero to pi limit. R square d theta. Now substitute the value of R square, which is there. Zero to pi R square is here. Again, a plus b cos theta whole square d theta. The same value which we calculated. In question number four, that will be obtained because this is the now same. So we can write it as zero to a, so zero to pi whole square. If I open this is a square plus b square cos square theta plus twice a b cos theta d theta. Again, it is to be now integrated. So this is a square theta first. It is zero to pi. Plus, this can be written as zero twice zero to pi by two into b square cos square theta d theta. Plus, this integration is twice a b. Let me outside take outside. This is sine theta integration of cos theta. Let's zero to pi here. Okay, so this will be obtained as now question number. A square theta, sorry, limit theta. If I put pi, it will be a square pi or pi a square. 
first plus this will be twice into b square twice into b square into now using the reduction formula 0 to pi by 2 limits and cos square theta this 1.2 into 1.2 pi 1.2 pi plus this is 0 why because when sine pi put the upper limit at theta sine pi is 0 sine 0 is also 0 this is in both the cases 0 now so this comes out to be 2 1 to cancel out again a square sorry pi if i take common so it will be inside the bracket a square from first it will be b square upon 2 so this is pi b square upon 2 it is b square upon or 1.2 into b square this is the answer obtained here okay so in this case this curve was also made a minus b negative value so negative value comes out to be here we start from this okay so limits 0 to pi and 0 to a or a to pi if i take pi to this side okay or if i take from this 0 to a 0 to a here or from this point 0 to a then a to pi that can also be taken out a to pi okay so pi theta can be pi here and here theta is 0 0 to a sorry 0 to a here then a to pi so same limits are taken this is the question number fifth okay question number five we have done now question number five or fifth question is having the same answer as question number four but the shape was two, two shapes here okay but in the first case it was positive value a minus v was positive here a minus v is negative okay now let me take the sixth question now question number six says find the whole area of the curve r equal to 2a cos theta okay this is r equal to 2a cos theta r equal to 2a cos theta so if i substitute let me first draw the curve and then what is the total area okay so question number six here we are given r equal to 2a cos theta okay so first let me find the solution so putting theta minus theta doesn't change so putting theta as minus theta the curve does not change the curve does not change so this curve is so this curve is symmetric this curve is symmetric about initial line. This curve is symmetric about initial line. Okay, one thing. Secondly, <coughs> first point. Second point. If putting r equal to 0, if r equal to 0, or putting r equal to 0, 2a cos theta equal to 0, cos theta equal to 0, or theta equal to cos 0 is for pi by 2 so it is plus minus pi by 2 okay so this theta is equal to pi by 2 yeah it is only 2 a cos theta so 0 theta equal to pi by 2 so plus pi by 2 to minus pi by 2 this curve we will take the limits here okay so that is the question all right then what is the shape or the area of the curve if i take here and this curve is passing through if i put theta 0 it is twice a at theta equal to 0 theta equal to 0 r is equal to twice it because, th because 0 is 1 it means the curve is meeting the initial line at r equal to 2a r equal to 2a is the uh, uh, may be taken as radius because theta is 0 in that situation okay then we can take other points theta pi by 2 another 2 pi by okay uh, 3 pi by 2 etc that that cost 0 is 0 so all those points are given angles taken as theta equal to pi by 2 minus pi by 2 plus 3 pi by 2 
by per way to etc. and the curve will be drawn. But it is meeting the okay the initial line at zero theta zero angle, but r equal to two. All right, so that curve is to be drawn. Okay, so then and what is the limit for this? Let me just find out. So theta minus power eight to plus power eight, we will take the limit as okay. So this point is theta equal to pi by two. Okay, so we are drawing this. This is the initial line OS, and here it is at theta equal to zero. This is two total length is twice a. This is twice a zero theta is zero r is twice a. R comes out to be twice a and theta is zero. Okay, so this is the total length. Now total area of this curve we have to find out. Let me take this is a strip initial strip here P Q point delta theta and this is theta here. Okay, so this is just just to indicate this point, but we know that what is the area. Total area will be now limits here are zero to pi. So if I take zero to pi, here it is theta equal to pi by two. So and minus pi by two to plus pi by two. This is the curve here, and here it is theta equal to minus pi by two. So curve is lying between minus pi by two to plus pi by two, undoubtedly. So if I find area this and twice of that. That will give us the area. Okay, so <coughs> that is value of R. Okay. Now let me so find out what is the area total area. So required area. Required area of the curve given curve of the given curve is equal to twice. First, let me write area. Twice of area. This is O. This is A. Let me take this B. So O A B. Twice area. O A B. O A B. Or O A B O. No problem. Twice of area. O A B O. All right. So we can substitute now. Twice. Sign of integration. This is now zero to. Pi by two. Zero to pi by two. Go here at theta is pi by two, or theta equal to pi here. That is the point pi here. Okay, theta is pi, or theta is pi zero to pi by two only, because minus pi by two plus pi by two. If I take the total area, then zero to pi by two. Sorry, uh, half area is zero to pi by two twice of that to give us the whole area, and this is R square, and 1.2 we put 1.2 R square d theta, so this two to cancel out will give us zero to pi by two. Okay, zero to pi by two into R square. R square is twice a cos theta whole square. Into d theta, it will give us 4a square. Let me take outside. It is cos square theta d theta, 0 to pi by 2 limits. Limits are 0 to pi by 2. We can apply the reduction formula in this case also. So let me find the final answer. So it will give us 4a square into by reduction formula. It is 1.2 into pi by 2. Two two, the four four will cancel out. This is pi a square only. This is the answer. Total area of the whole figure and whole this curve, because twice of this half above, it will give us the total area. Twice we have already done twice of this, but you know that area of a polar curve is half uh, limits alpha to beta r square d theta, which we uh, explained the initial in the beginning. So this is the total area. So pi a square is the final answer of this question. Let me, sorry, sorry. Let me take the next question. Now question number six is done. So seven questions. 
touch for question number seven, let me talk about now. Now question number seven, what does it say? Okay, question number seven, let us talk about. What is question seven say? Just find the area of the loop of loop of the curve. Find the area of loop of the curve r equal to a theta cos theta. Okay, between theta equal zero to theta equal five. But okay, this is limits given to us. So let me just find out the area. Question number seven theta. Here r is equal to the curve is r equal to a to theta into cos theta. Okay, area of it, area of it between. Just we have to put the limits and answer is given. No need of tracing the curve here. Okay, so area of it between theta equal to zero to theta equal to five by two. Simple. Okay, so area, so required area. Solution: The required area of this curve, of this curve, okay, because this curve is not symmetric to initial line or nothing. Because theta minus theta makes a change, even minus r is also changing. But we have just find out the area, nothing else. So required area of this curve is equal to we will take half. 0 to pi by 2. It is r square. We know that formula of polar polar equations. Polar for polar equations, I proved in the beginning that this is the formula. But here limits are alpha to beta. Here alpha beta is given. Alpha is 0, and the beta is this. I mean upper limit is pi by 2. Okay. Now let me put the values. This is 1.2. Now zero to pi by two. R square here is this. This is a theta cos theta whole square d theta. Okay, so this is R square means this. So this is one point two. Let me solve it for the zero to pi by two a square. Let me, let me take outside. This theta square into cos square theta. Okay. Into d theta. Now we can change it by parts. So how we take it by parts? Cos square theta is for integration. Theta square is for differentiation. So first half a square. Let me take outside. Theta square as it is integration of cos square theta d theta minus sine. Differentiation zero to pi by two of two of theta is two theta, and this is cos square theta integration. Integration of cos square theta is zero to pi by two into cos square theta d theta whole d theta. Simple. This is the basic formula for integration by parts. We know about this. So this cos square theta d theta integration we will do, and that will be 1.2 into pi by 2 constant value. Then theta is again integrated as theta square 0.2. Then we will substitute the value. Okay. So this, but this theta square, this is integration here. Now let me further solve it. So finally, this value will give us. Let me write here. This is 1.2 d square outside. First is here limits also substituted zero to pi by two. So this is pi square, sorry pi by two whole square. So here also we will substitute limit zero to pi by two. But theta square if I substitute limit pi by two, so it will be pi by two whole square into integration of cos square theta by relative formula is 1.2 into pi by two minus sign. Here it is zero to Pi by two, twice theta, into integration of cos square theta. Let us find the is 1.2 into pi by two into d theta. Okay, let me further solve it. This is 1.2 a square 
here it is pi q upon 4 4 to the 16 this is pi q upon 16 here minus sign this is twice now this only theta so twice 2 2 cancel out or pi by and sorry, pi by 2 let me take outside it will be sorry pi by 2 outside and this is theta 0 to pi by 2 into d theta okay let me solve it further so now it will give us 1.2 a square which is outside this is pi q upon 16 minus sign this is pi by 2 and theta square is theta q upon 3 integration this is pi by 0 to pi by 2 limits finally let me substitute this is a square pi q upon 16 first one minus sign it will give us again pi by 2 whole q it is pi by 4 here pi square by there okay this is pi q only now this is pi 4 because pi by 2 came from there oh, so this is pi by 2 here it is pi q upon 8 upon 3 3 is outside so it is 24 to the 72 so it is 1.2 a square into pi q if i take common let me take pi q common so first will be 1.16 minus sign this is pi upon 72 so this is the value of this question i mean answer of this question so pi q a square upon 2 we have taken outside and this is 1.16 minus pi upon 72 and even we could take common 8 common can be taken okay 1.8 no no this is uh, 72 into 2 that can be taken common 144 144 can be taken as lcm and then we can further do it okay this is the final answer we can Convert this by taking 144 as LCM, then it will come out come out as 2 into 9, 18 here minus 2 pi. 18 minus 2 pi. That can be the answer here. So that is the question of this question. So pi is square upon 96 if I take. That can give us some value here. So 0 to pi by 2 r square d theta is coming out like this so pi a square into pi square minus 6 is something different question okay some the so process is same okay so from here if i take some common i think this difference was here also pi q must come oh, sorry this is pi square i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry I have committed error here. This is theta only. Theta is square point two. I'm sorry. Integration. No, I was just thinking that why this difference of powers is coming. Sorry. This is theta square. But this is theta only, and this limit is zero. Two. So theta is square point two. Now I have to put now limits by by two. Okay. So this will give us one point two a square. This is pi q upon sixty. First one. Minus sign here again pi q will come out. This is upon 4 to the 8 to the 16. So this is again pi q upon 4 to the 8 to the 16. It is coming out as pi upon 2. Is it plus 16 or minus 16? It is minus 16 here. But some difference of question is pi upon 4 and 4 16 16 upon 2 so here also this comes out to be theta square pi square upon 4 into 2 8 is there any difference so this is minus 
why this minus 2 I have taken here, get by 2 theta, differentiation by 2 theta, so 2 I took outside, and then this pi by 2 and 1 upon 2 are there, so this, this was, okay, this came out, and then this is now again pi by 2, we took pi by 2 outside, and then theta was integrated as theta square upon 2. Now, substituting the limits, it will give us so this is pi by 4 and again pi square upon 4. But this is then cancelled out pi q minus pi q, but it's not 0. If I take plus sign, okay, if it's plus sign, a mistake has occurred because this is not 0. Well, it comes out to be zero. I'm sorry. Let me further solve it. But the question is of the same type. Required area is uh, required area is half of one point two zero two pi by two. Limit zero to pi by two given to us. This is r square into d theta, and this is one point two. 0 to pi by 2. Okay. R square here is a square theta square to cos square theta d theta. This is the value. Okay. Now, if I substitute cos square theta as 1 minus cos 2 theta, so simply it can be done in that way also. Okay. So, that will give us some different value. If I put cos square theta, that will be 0 to pi by 2. This is a square theta square cos square theta is one one plus cos two theta upon two okay into d theta. But then it will be very lengthy one. Okay, now let me again solve by the same process. This is cos square theta so using by parts method. Cos square theta is for Integration and theta square for differentiation. First one point two this a square let me take outside. Okay, so first is theta square as it is and it's zero to pi by two this is cos square theta d theta minus sine b substitute. Then limit zero to pi by two. Okay, and theta here is twice theta differentiation, theta square. Again, limit 0 to pi by 2. This is cos square theta. We have to be still integrate and then integration of this theta. Okay. 